winding the doors here to celebrate 50 years of Emmerdale. First though, uh, new research suggests we may suffer from plant blindness, with experts saying we consider them to be less alive than animals. So, uh, Frankie? <laughs> Okay. Why have it gone to me? Liven up, Frankie, because I know you love your plants. <laughs> yeah, no, I literally we thought, oh, it's Janet's got this one. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I do have some plants in my house. Like, in my garden, they have to be evergreens because they're not going to get any love. And I don't like it when the garden where, like, it looks really nice in the summer and then just looks really sad in the winter. Yeah. That just annoys me. And then secondly, I got some plants in my bathroom because someone was like, oh, the steam and stuff, like, keeps them alive. That's not true. <laughs> They're on the turn. And I just think it's just another thing I need to keep alive in my but house. That's the problem that you're not talking to them enough. <laughs> you're not giving them love. Because I'm not crazy. <laughs> Are you saying that I'm crazy? There's no way. There's no way you talk to your plants. And if you do, it's only because they can't talk back. <laughs> I, I tell my plants. To buckle up, get on with it. You know, I brought some. Uh, That's not loving talk, though, is it? I am very loving when it comes to my lettuces. <laughs> because by the, way, happening? by the way, viewers, my lettuces not out, only outlived Liz Truss, <laughs> lettuce mill, they're still going strong. And I say. You that is a me. magnificent garden of yours, so that's only a tiny section, clearly, of your oh, plants. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that was a couple of summers ago. It wasn't good th as good this summer. But, yeah, I have had some real successes with my vegetables. And indoors, at the moment, I have got three chilli plants, and I do talk to them because I brought the seeds illegally back from <laughs> oh, Australia. Oh, no doubt yeah. we raided Didn't now. think you were going to say that on, on TV. <laughs> well, they're chilli, but... They're hardly class A drugs. They're red hot <laughs> chili peppers. And I've had a bit of a dilemma because I love plants, but they've got too big. Oh, no. Sorry, Brenda, I can't see you. Brenda! <laughs> because you love your plants. You get very passionate about talking about yeah, them. Yeah, I do get passionate it? So, about talking Anyway, about there you go. Janet loves plants more than people. We <laughs> have now surmised that. Well done. Yeah. Competition time now, folks. You can buy a load of plants with this. <laughs> Half a million pounds could be yours here on the It's no trick. It's definitely a treat. Our biggest prize of the year. Half a million pounds. But what's it like to take a call from ITV winners HQ? And you've won £60,000. This is a wind-up, isn't it? No, <laughs> I'm being deadly serious. Yeah, no, you are. <laughs> I've just literally, um, I've just been, literally been made redundant and I'm in the process of looking for work. Our spooktacular prize could be on its way to you. For another chance to win, text CASH to 82248. Text costs £2 plus one standard network rate message. Go to the website to enter. Entries cost £2. Call 09 068 78 2248. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to CASH44. P.O. Box 7, double five eight, Derby, DE1, 0 NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 4 p.m. on Friday, 4th of November. Good luck. No. Sorry, we're all having a bit of a love it. Oh, sorry. Anyway, yeah, we're back on the TV. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. that. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> now, Emmerdale Village may have only just recovered from a huge storm, but the drama is far from over as Chaz and Al's affair is uncovered oh. by Kane tonight. Hey, 
this is it. You got my messages? I mean, it's been quite a few weeks, months in Emmerdale, in fact. Yeah. But this week, it's actually, this is no spoiler because this is being trailed all over ITV at mm -hmm. the minute. It's you standing with a gun. That yeah. never ends well in Soapland. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And um, it all comes to a head tonight with um, Michael and myself. Um, so, yeah, you have to watch, tune in and see what happens. Should be good. Oh. That's plain a bit. That's a little bit plain. It's safe. Not going to have any spoilers at all. <laughs> well, you know, I think people can guess something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, is, is from here, there's some really good stories. You know, like I think when you do um, stories like this, you've got to have the ripple effect afterwards, and, and this causes uh, certain ripples throughout for various characters within the village. So. Yeah. This whether, is whether very... it's me, I, I can't tell you. No. Yes, of course. This of course. is a very violent show. They've had to explain to me. I mean, what's your, what, what's up isn't kind of no. violent or Well, all right. I've got, know. I've got four points here. Harriet, the village vicar, died after she fell off her quad bike. Yeah. Sam Dingle and Nick Robinson were left running for their lives after a cow stampede. Yeah. Sam Dingle was left in pain after being impaled on some farming machinery. And Liv was crushed by a caravan. I know. <laughs> you couldn't write it, could you? <laughs> <laughs> you <actually> couldn't <laughs> write it. That's only one week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you go to work, are you worried about what's next? <laughs> I'm worried uh, every year. We're only on uh, a year's contract at a time, and th there's uh, times of the year when people's contracts are up, and yeah, everybody's nervous. But you've been on it for 22 years now? Yeah, I had a little break um, for three years, so I think I've done 19, but 22. Wow. The character's been around for 22 years. So you must have, like, light and shade with your character. It must be fun, all these, like, massive dramas that go on. And... Yeah, I think I've been lucky in... Because I've been in the show for so long, the writers have written really well for the character, so many lay layers to the character, and, you know, I think the stories that we had just recently with... With Sally Dexter, with Faith, you see a yeah. different side to Kane because I think she's the only person that can make him act in it the was way emotional, he has done. Yeah, because very much so. She was his mother, and it and was the softer side of. Yeah. I'm a hardcore Emmerdale fan here, right. so yeah, yeah, I'm trying to contain myself like. <laughs> really in um, but the 50 years of Emmerdale as well. But won the NTA. We, we won the NTA. I we said, won it. Thanks, Christy. Congrats, Christy. We won uh, the NTA. <laughs> I feel part of Emmerdale cast. Um, and, of course, King Charles did this beautiful dedication yeah. to the show. Yeah. It's been there for, certainly growing up, Emmerdale has always been there in our household. Mm. And it's part of your, your family, your wife's involved in the show, clearly, as well. Mm. It, it takes over. So after 22 years, you can't imagine life without it. No, it's been good to, to us as a family. Um, and I feel like I have a, a not, not only my own family, it's been, it's good, been good for us, but, you know, I have a, a kind of, a group of core group of friends there who I've grown up with and and, and collected along the way. Yeah. So we've got these great friends now within within Emmerdale as well. But so. aside from Emmerdale, mm -hmm. your passion, like Janet, yes. is getting out into the garden or indeed your allotment. Yeah. And uh, you're most proud of is it tomatoes, chilies? I hear chilies. Chilies, tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. We've had not much success with cucumbers this year. I haven't grown cucumbers, but I was banned from talking about my tomatoes <laughs> on the show. Well, what? because last year, Brenda and I had a bit of a tomato growing competition and it took over. So we were competing on the show and there would be whole parts where we just talked about our tomatoes. And it's this year, I'm afraid, I've not been allowed to discuss oh. Thank you. Goodness, you're on today. Let's, yeah. Yeah. So, let's, let's talk about yeah. so I don't know so I've checked out. Now, <laughs> are you growing winter lettuces? I've got some, actually. I've got oh, some. Sorry, ladies. This some. is more important than the storyline to me. My mother-in-law just popped up and, and 
commented on our lettuces in the back garden. Ooh. Oh, really? And what about potatoes? No, not winter ones. But I've still got some in the ground from, from the Have summer. you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just dug up my last What's one. What's happening? So, and, uh, so crispy. I grew, I grew You've got a little... Oh, yeah, I've got... Yes, yeah, so because I knew you like Halloween. I've got some masks, some sweets and things like that to no. give for the trick off now. I'm joking, Janet. I've got you some oh. of our homemade oh chilli jam goodness. and some chillies as well. Oh. That is a fantastic oh. present. So these are, these are called Adji Limon. Yeah. Very hot. Brilliant. Yeah. You, you know you can use the seed Jeff, to grow more. Yeah. Jeff, Janet, I'm going to let you continue your oh. chilli chat because we have to go. Um, thank you very much for your company, audience. Thank you very much, Jeff. We will see you tomorrow. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye. <laughs>